Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in our previous video, we have discussed about Snowflake task and task tree, where basically if we are having a parent task and on that particular parent task, there are some other task is dependent that is called child task. Like that, we can build a very complex task tree, which I already covered. If you want to know the detailed explanation, you can check the link given in the description box. Okay. So it is like in our airflow or in autosys if you have created any job then under that if you want to execute multiple tasks then there we generally observe that particular dependencies in a tree structure in a very beautiful manner the visualization appears right which becomes very easy for the developers also sometime for tracking purpose and all but in snowflake there are such functionality for visualizing task tree was not available earlier but recently snowflake has added that particular feature and in this particular video i am going to demonstrate how we can easily visualize a snowflake task tree from snow site console okay so for this particular demo what i will do first i will basically drop a database because i want to show a fresh demo so then i will create a database and use that okay and here it is done now here what i am doing i am going to create a table which is having name video demo which is having id name and create date as column id and name column will be taking default value create date it will take whatever we will insert based on that okay it will not have any default value so i will execute that and now here what i will do i will basically create six different stored procedure and those six stored procedure will insert different data in our this video demo table okay and then we will create a snowflake task tree where there will be a parent task and there will be six child tasks where each child task will take the responsibility of execution of individual stored procedure okay and what we will do once we will build this kind of hierarchy where one parent task and six child tasks we will start all our child tasks and then we will resume our parent task okay and as soon as parent task is executed once we will suspend that particular parent task that way what will happen once our parent task is executed at least once the child task will be triggered and they will execute all the stored procedures parallelly that's how parallel execution of stored procedure happens which i already covered in my previous video also if you want to know the detailed explanation you can check the description box so here what i will do i will create my first stored procedure which is inserting some data in this particular table then here i will basically create my second stored procedure and then here i will create my third stored procedure then here i will create my fourth stored procedure here i will create my fifth stored procedure and here i will create my sixth stored procedure okay right and here is our main stored procedure and how using this the parallel execution of different stored procedure happens that also i have explained if you want to know that detailed explanation obviously you can check the description box link okay so here it is created now here what i will do i will call my main stored procedure which will create the parent task and six child task dynamically so for that what i will do for showing the task tree in this no site console i will open this in a new tab and here i will go to the data part okay so if i go to the data part in our ramu database in the public schema in the task if i go currently no task is there okay so all we will do we will basically start execution of this particular stored procedure with call command before that let me show you currently in this particular video demo table no data is there so let's just execute this particular stored procedure okay so it is executing so dynamically it will create one parent and multiple child tasks that is basically six child it will create let's see so here in the public schema in the task if i go here you can see there is one parent and then there are six child okay and if you want to understand the complete directed acyclic graph or the dependencies of task tree just click on one here you will see the task detail and here you can go to the graph view if you go to graph view here you will see that this is our parent task which is currently in suspended state if you want to observe that that also you can check in the run history if you go here you see that it is not yet executed once so what will happen that our parent task will be scheduled and here it will execute once and then it will stop what is the schedule time when it ran all these details here you can observe in this dashboard also and in the graph view here you can see these are the different child tasks which are taking the responsibility of execution of different stored procedure so here you can easily understand if our parent task get triggered 
and as all the child tasks are dependent on our parent task so based on the snowflake policy all these tasks will be executed parallelly okay and obviously all the stored procedures which are attached to individual tasks those execution will also happen in parallel manner and that's how we can achieve the parallelism concept in snowflake itself without using python or other etl tool right so here let's wait for a couple of seconds currently here it is in scheduled state so it will take nearly one minute to just make a fast run because if you recall in our previous video in our parent task here we have created the parent task here multi-thread parent with schedule of one minute okay so once it resumed after one minute it will run so there we can see on september 30 that is on today's date here it will show that it is executed once and then here we will able to see the data once all the child tasks will be executed okay so currently also the stored procedure is keep on executing phase as you can see so let's wait for a couple of seconds till this particular parent task executes at least once and ideally automatically after one time execution the parent task should be suspended right so let's see that So here you can see that the parent task basically executed one time and here it is succeeded. Now if I go to graph view here if I click on parent here it should be in suspended state because our parent task should be executed only once and then the child task should be triggered automatically. If the parent is running one more time then all the stored procedures will be executed once more. That we don't want right. We only want one time execution of all the stored procedures in parallel manner. So that's what will happen eventually so because here you can see the parent is suspended so our child task will execute all together only once and if i just do a select start from video demo soon we will able to see that data is got populated from different stored procedure and here if you observe the create time here for all of the rows it is almost same which is indicating that all those different different procedures executed in a parallel manner nearly at the same time right that's the beauty of this particular stored procedure and i hope you understood how to visualize the DAG of tasks beautifully in snow site console right the documentation link i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can go through that this is all for my this video thank you for watching